<laughs> um, my name is Jite. I am. I was their baby. I am their favorite child. And yeah, can ask anyone. Tell us your earliest childhood memory of your parents. Um, my earliest childhood memory would probably be a trip that we took to Ghana when I was, I think, about three or so. And they took us to this ice cream parlor. I remember they bought us all ice creams. And it was just fun. It was just nice, like, spending time with the family. And we do that quite a lot. Yeah. Growing up, how would you describe the relationship you had with your parents? Um, I've always been close to my parents. I, I'm the typical daddy's girl. Good to my daddy for everything. And I was like, my mom's pet puppy handbag, like, I used to follow her around, you know, dress up in her clothes, steal her shoes till my feet grew too big. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, we're very close. What was the fondest memory you had about your parents? What was the fondest memory you had about your parents growing up as a child? Um... My fondest memory, uh, I, I can't pinpoint a single one. I mean, Anything funny or <laughs> we had a lot of good memories, but I think maybe something that comes to mind. Yeah. So, okay, so ask, ask it again. Let me yeah. start okay. over. Oh, okay. What's the fondest memory you had? about your parents growing up as a child. Give a specific example of something funny, odd, or strange. Um, my fondest memory of my parents... Uh, I can't really pinpoint one. We have... I mean, I have so many, but... I think, rather than my fondest, my most... I think my most important, probably life lesson that I learned from my dad was the first time I heard the word no. The first time I couldn't have what I wanted. And he did it. I guess he wanted to teach me that in life you can't always, you know, expect to hear, yes, you will be disappointed. I mean, it sounds sad, but I really appreciate that lesson. <laughs> it wasn't nice at the time. <laughs> Over the years, but, yeah. what was the proudest moment you experienced with your parents? Um, over the years, my proudest moment with my parents would probably be... It's probably a cross between my graduation and when they brought the twins home. I think those are two of the happiest proudest moments I had with my parents. After 25 years, what would you say has been the secret of their success? Oh God, the secret to their success. Well, I'm not married. <laughs> I don't know. Um, can't say that. <laughs> 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 I can't say that. Whose phone is that? Why can't I say that? I'm not married now. <laughs> Yeah, find something cliche, something that's cliche. Uh, anyway. <laughs> see how fly you're stressing your hair. Huh? I stress my hair every day, so it will break. See what should you do to the wall? Oh, yeah, I just seen. You didn't see yesterday. How you busy? I wasn't here. I meant to hear. Huh. The little artist. Yeah, sorry about that. Um... Oh, that's the same question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. ask me again. After 25 years, what would you say has been the secret of, has been the secret of their success? <laughs> the secret to their success. Can I say me? No. <laughs> yeah, um, why, why can't I say that? Say, um, can I be myself? Hey, there's be yourself. <laughs> you have to think about it.
members, your father's friends, and your mother's friends are going to be sitting down. And when I say me, they will laugh. Okay. Everybody will laugh. Mm -hmm. And they will know, okay, this girl is crazy. Yeah, sure. okay. Can I start, start again? Okay, sorry. After 25 years, what would you say has been the secret of their success? Um, the secret to their success. Um, well, I can't say myself, obviously, but probably, uh, I mean, it all comes down to love, doesn't it? My dad loves my mom. He, I mean, it's obvious, you can see it from a mile away. They keep kissing in front of me. <laughs> but yeah, my parents are very affectionate, very loving, very, yeah. Who runs the marriage? Who runs the marriage? Are you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to be objective. As an economist, you know, looking at the family as a, an economy, a country, you need the financial sector, you need the administrative sector, and that's all I'm going to say <laughs> about that. Do they have any funny or annoying traits? Of course not. My parents don't have any annoying traits. <laughs> Which I decline to answer. Should I ask you? Yeah, ask, ask me again. Ask me again. Do they have any funny or annoying traits? Uh, can I plead the fifth? No. Um, <laughs> Answer the question by saying funny and annoying traits. Funny and annoying traits. Oh no, ask me again, start again, sorry. Do they have any funny or annoying traits? Um, funny and annoying or annoying traits. Oh, this is a scary one. Um <laughs> my My mom likes to read on the toilet. <laughs> You cannot say that. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 you cannot even say that. Starting. That's why she's been calling. Why does she use that? What? Why does she use that? Because you said it, man. Hey, should we? I need to call her. Okay, I'll rephrase that. Let me, let me, let me do that again. Do they have any funny or annoying traits? Um, funny or annoying traits. Maybe funny. My mom likes to have long baths with her iPad, reading books. Is that funny? Is that funny enough? No. See, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> when I say the truth, it's funny, but they can't use it. <laughs> um, they're not funny. See how she, 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 they're always sending you on errands. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I know what I'm going to say. I know what I'm going to say. Okay. <clears throat> um, funny or annoying traits? I would say, Mommy, please forgive me, but <laughs> it's very annoying when. The remote is right there, and she just won't stretch. She'll call me from the kitchen downstairs to bring it for her and turn on the AC, but she will never, ever <laughs> stretch. And my dad um, thinks he can sing. <laughs> my mom thinks she can sing. <laughs> yeah, next question. Which Hollywood couple would attribute the likeness of your parents? Um, Wait, sorry. Which Hollywood couple would would uh, this was bad grammar? Okay. Which Hollywood couple would attribute the likeness of your parents to, and why? Which Hollywood couple would I think of? Um. Gosh, I can't think of any Hollywood couples. Don't s stay together. So, if I had to. I know this sounds very cliched, but I would say Beyonce and Jay Z, <laughs> just because they're very—I mean, you know that they're very loving to each other, but they're also very private and respectful. So, 
Yeah, those two. What is their favorite pastime hobby? Hmm. Their favorite pastime hobby. Well, they love to travel, but my dad loves to play golf. He reckons he's, you know, the next Tiger Woods <laughs> or something. And my mom is a shopaholic and every year her New Year's resolution is to not buy any more shoes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Oh, what God. message do you have for your parents on this, on this day? Uh, just a second. Ugh. Uh, I know. Can we can we pause? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like <laughs> yeah, I need to think of something. Can I watch what we've done so far? Once you ask uh, the last question, if you don't like, you can do it one more time, and then we will just do the questions speak for them again. Okay. So the last one, and then after. Okay. Um. This is very awkward. <laughs> do I have to repeat the question again? Uh, the last. This one. No, just the message, isn't it? So I just say. Yeah. And have and, uh, and I have to look blah, at the blah, camera. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Don't laugh. Just be serious. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <sighs> I'm actually thinking. I, I don't know. Um. Mm, mommy, daddy. <laughs> mommy and daddy. Um, what do you have for your parents on this day? Um, mommy, mommy and, and daddy. daddy. <laughs> I, just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna say how proud I am of you, and how happy I am to be celebrating this with you. Twenty-five years is amazing. And obviously, I wish you a hundred more, if possible, God willing. And you're such an inspiration. You've shown, you've shown us how to be strong. You've shown us what love can accomplish. And I love you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Cut it!